My wife and I often have the following conversation. Having discussed an issue at some length, she will say, isn't that the truth? My response is often, no, it's real, but not the truth. Am I playing with words? Or might there be a biblical truth somewhere in that brief exchange? Let's go to the Word of God to find out. In the first chapter of the Gospel according to John, verse 14, we read, and I quote, The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. We have seen His glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. End of quote. An extremely powerful truth is revealed at the beginning of that verse. The Word became flesh. What we are being told is that Jesus and the Word are one in the same. Jesus is the very manifestation of the Word. Searching Scripture further, we read again in John's Gospel, the 14th chapter, 6th verse, and I quote, I am the way, the truth, and the life, end of quote. Let's homogenize these two scriptures. The word is Jesus, John 1 and 14, and Jesus is truth, John 14 and 6. Thus, we must come to the conclusion that the word is the truth. Now, let's go back to my original premise that reality and truth are not necessarily the same thing. Allow me to provide a few examples of this. Abortion is real, but is it God's truth? Cancer is real, but is it God's truth? Prejudice is real, but is it God's truth? Do you see my point? If a thought, situation, occurrence, or action does not align with God's word and will, how can it be the truth? Real, yes. Truth, no. We live in a real world, one which was given over to our adversary, according to Revelation 12 and 9, and Luke 10 and 18. It is not yet a truth-filled world. With this truth in mind, we as believers, the body of Christ, have much yet to do. God's will and word can only be accomplished by being born of God's Spirit, then allowing the Holy Spirit to work in us and then through us. Then the kingdom of light will prevail in the hearts of mankind and God will be glorified. God bless and shalom.